Well, hello everybody. This is Jacob Baer, Science Tutor Online, and I wanted to show you a tool today that is used. It's called Quizlet. It's used a lot by teachers to create quizzes and tests online, but you can also use it as a great study tool. Um, this is really useful for things where you need to memorize a lot of vocabulary and a lot of terms, like for example, for the CLEP or for the AP exam. So let's start. You're going to go to Quizlet.com. If you look in the upper left on typing in Q-U-I-Z-L-E-T.com, and that brings me to this thing. I'm already logged in, so let me see if I can log out just to show you how this um, rolls out. So hang on. Whoops. Got these other things popping up because I'm still learning how to use Windows 8. So I'm going to log out just so you can see. When you go into Quizlet, this is what you will see. You can sign up and I recommend that if you're going to use it a lot. Um, it's free and even the paid version only costs $15 a year so it's really useful. But, whoops, okay this is Windows 8 malfunctioning for me but we're back in Quizlet. You Up on the top there's this menu bar and I'm going to click on create and you can create even without having an account. So click on create and you're going to create a new set. So I'm going to try Cell, bio, cell parts, parts of the cell, parts of the cell, and your topic can be almost anything, any subject you want. Optional, um, optional info for the subject, I'll put biology. The reason you may want to do this is because one of the things a Quizlet does is it shares your sets that you're going to create with anyone who wants them, who wants to use them, and so you're helping other people study as well and so you may want to categorize it so people can find it. I think there's a way to make these private. I don't know what it is, but that shouldn't matter. Description, we'll just say um, the, I'm going to say the major organelles of a, a eukaryotic cell. Where it says allow set discussion over here, what that means is if you want other people to be able to read your sets and post comments and things. So I'm going to put yes. This will be a public set that anyone can put in. Now choose a language, quick switch, I'm going to choose English. You've got many languages and also I guess um, chemistry is listed as a language, I'm not sure how that works. Choose a language, I will also put English here. Sometimes you may want your questions and answers to be in different, in, in, in different languages. Now the way this works is you can put terms over to the left and let's just start out we're talking about cells so I'm going to start with the nu the nucleus and then I can click on auto define nucleus I don't have to do this but if I click on that it loads up the definitions that other people have used for nucleus who people on Quizlet have also used the word nucleus so part of a cell containing DNA and RNA and responsible for root for growth and reproduction that's a good definition Choose the best one. I can scroll down. The dense center of an atom. If we were talking about chemistry, then the atom, the nucleus of the atom would be useful. But since we're talking about cells, I can use this first list. As you can see, there are a hundred definitions that were found. I can just scroll down and see the different definitions of nucleus. Here's one for astronomy, the center of the head of a comet. But I'm going to go with the very first one. So you have a choice of definitions based on what other people have put. Or you can write your own definition. In this case, I'm going to use this one. Part of a cell containing DNA and RNA responsible for growth and reproduction. So use selected definition. I've selected it here and I'm going to click use it. And now that's the definition of a nucleus. Now let's say I wanted my own version. So I'm going to say um, mitochondria, which is you know one of my favorite favorite terms in biology. I even have a website called Mitochondriac, although it's not very active. And now under Mitochondria for the definition, notice I had the option again to auto-define Mitochondria, but I'm not clicking on it this time. This one I'm going to write my own definitions. And again, I could have probably found something similar by using the auto-definition. So you go on and you add your other terms, and I'll do that now and I'll get back to you when this is over, when I'm done. When you're near the end, you may have to click on this plus sign to add a row to add more more spaces to put in more terms. So I'm going to do that right now because I want to have two more. I'm going to have a total of nine terms on my test. When I've gotten all my terms in, I click on continue over here. 
Oops, okay, I was wrong. You do need to sign up or have an account to do this. I'm going to log in now because I can. Now once you log in, your test will appear. And let me just show you, if you had signed, if you had done this, if you had already been logged in when you created this test, this is what would appear. You can always go to your sets and it will show the sets you've made. In this case, I've got parts of a cell and I can click on this parts of a cell. And this is what comes up. You've got flashcards and the flashcards have the term and the nucleus. I can unclick this arrow here that says both sides and now part of a cell containing DNA and RNA responsible for growth and reproduction. I'm going to say that's a nucleus. I click to flip and yes, nucleus is correct. You can put term first, which means now the next one will say mitochondria and I have to have the definition. It's the power plant of the cell. It uses glucose to convert ADP to ATP and that's what I got. Okay. You can also choose to click on both sides, select both sides and now it gives you the term and the definition. Um, but the fun part is that you've got all these different games and tools to study. So study, you've got the speller, which lets you type what you hear. Plasma membrane. And so I'm going to say plasma membrane. I don't know if you can hear this on the test, but I mean, I don't know if you can hear this on the video, but the computer actually tells me, it actually states the word, you actually hear it spoken and you get to type it up as fast as you can. Maybe if I lean close, you can hear it. Plasma membrane. So it said plasma membrane, there's plasma membrane. And so you hear the word and you have to type it. That just helps you spell it. That's not very important though. Where it says learn, you've got options. You get the term and you type in the answer and you can include a you've got options here. So for example, here's a description organelle found in plants and other organisms that contains chlorophyll. I'm going to write chloroplast, chloroplast and click on answer and it tells me I was correct. Okay. Now I can choose the options over here. I can prompt with a term. So let me start prompt with a term and start over. Now it says Golgi apparatus and I have to type the definition. This is difficult because if you don't have the exact wording of the definition, it will mark it wrong. Another option though you can use is you can say speak test text. So let's try that. A double layer of phospholipids that makes up plasma and organelle membranes. So I don't know if you heard that, but it actually read out, there was a voice that read out the definition and I have to write the answer. You can also say prompt with term and speak and test. Particulum. And now prompt with term and speak text. I'll click replay and it says and endoplasmic reticulum. The voice just said endoplasmic reticulum, so I have to write the definition of that. So you see there's ways it will drill you on the terms, and when you're ready you can test, and sometimes I'll have my students just go right on this and test themselves. Now here's a fun part, you've got games you can play that basically involve matching the term to the definition. So you've got scatter, which you click on start game, and so here I've got the word nucleus, and I have to find where the nucleus is located. Um, part of the cell containing DNA responsible for growth and introduction. So as I, when I drag the nucleus over to this term, its definition, they both disappear. Mitochondria, and I've got the power plant of the cell, so I'm going to drag the mitochondria over to its definition, and they disappear, and so on. So that's a game that helps you match the definitions, or space race is kind of cool click on space race and this you have to be fast. A term goes across the screen you have to write the definition so I'm gonna phospholip oh plasma membrane oops lipid bilayer no oh, it wasn't fast enough okay internal membrane system um let's I miss that okay I'm not very good at this but you get the idea that definition comes across the screen you have to type out the word so these are just a few ways you can use Quizlet. It's got a lot of options. It's, it's, it's not really high tech, but it does drill you on a lot of vocabulary terms. Again, this is very useful in any class where you have to memorize vocabulary. I could see it having applications in social studies, for example, or maybe economics. It might not work so well in a math class. And of course, in English, where you're trying to build up your reading and writing skills, it might not be as useful. But for building up vocabulary and terms for almost any subject, um, Quizlet is, it's free. 
and it's a really easy program as you can see and it just drills you until you memorize what these words are that you need to learn so I highly recommend it anyway that's all for science tutor online for now I'll see you next week with another video